Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the release date of our Pixel Android 12. So let's get started. Now let's start with the about section of this phone. As you can see, this is the initial build of the Pixel ROM. So we will review it and we will test how it performs and how is the battery life. Thanks to our developer Arno for creating this ROM for our device X2 Pro. Now we will talk about what's working in this ROM. Volte calling dual speaker, VOOC charging, everything is perfectly fine and working in this ROM. Other than that, all the Android 12 features are also working perfectly fine. We also have dedicated realme settings to access some of the features or to enable or disable the force 90 hertz. Let us check that. As you can see, we have this realme settings. Here we have different types of mode for 90 hertz and other DC dimming and USB OTG options. If we go back and go to the display option, as you can see, we have different types of options available. Also, if we go to the wallpaper option, as you can see, we have theme based icons, which is now in beta state and but it is working perfectly fine. And let's check for the camera. Before accessing the camera, as you can see, now we are getting the option for different type of location. Like you want to set the precise location or the approximate location. So you can set according to your need. This is the normal snap camera, but I will suggest you to use the Gcam. Here I am using Pixel Cam Dice as my Gcam in this ROM. As you can see, we have the main lens, we have the ultra wide lens, and we have the 2x lens. All the lenses are working perfectly. I will provide you with the link of this Gcam and the XML file. Also, if you go to the video option, it is also working perfectly fine. You can record 1080p or 4K video. Other than that, the normal Gcam stuffs like portrait mode, night sight, everything is working perfectly fine. As we all know, this is the initial build. So expect some bugs. And if you encounter some bugs, please report it to the Telegram channel or comment down below. And if possible, try to take logs of those problems. Now, let's check the battery performance of this app. I've taken few screenshots to show you the battery usage. So this is the battery usage from my last day. As you can see, I am easily getting 6 hours and 48 minutes of screen on time. If you are gaming, you can easily get around 5 hours of screen on time. Now let's talk about the performance. Now let's run the CPU benchmark. As you can see, the single core score is around 757 and the multi core score is 2547. If we compare it with the average score of Realme 2, the single core score is 1.6% better and if you talk about the multi core score, it is 4%, almost 4% better than the average score of Realme X2 Pro. But in my opinion, you don't have to go by this Geekbench or any other performance testing apps. In terms of real life usage, you will see a much better, a very smooth UI and a very stable performance. So if you go by my words, you will get a very good performance in this ROM. And one good thing about this ROM is it runs very cool. The average temperature if I am using this device normally in my area is around 27 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is quite good. It can vary depending on the state you are living and according to the ambient temperature. But uh, in terms of my usage, I have tested many different ROMs. This is the coolest ROM I have ever tested. So in terms of performance and stability, it is very good. Now we will talk about how to install this ROM. Installing this ROM is very simple. First of all, let me tell you, if you are on Realme i2, 
you have to roll back to realme y1 to install this rom to know how to roll back to the realme y1 you can watch my previous video which is in the description or in the i button or even if you are on any custom rom which runs based on realme y2 firmware you have to roll back to realme y1 if you are on custom rom based on realme y1 or you are on realme y1 or oxygen os then no need to roll back or anything just i will show you how to flash it's very simple we will go to the twrp as you can see we have successfully booted into the twrp and now i will show you how to flash this rom first you have to go to the wipe section and then go to the advanced wipe and you have to select the first five options if you are using orange fox you have to choose the same option which we are choosing in the twrp and after that we have to swipe to wipe after that we have to go back and we have to locate our rom file as you can see i have located my rom file it is in this folder so just click on that you have to swipe to flash as this is the pixel rom so no need to flash g app separately after the flash is complete we have to again go to the wipe section go to the format data and type in yes and then click on tick after this is done you have successfully flashed the pixel rom now we have to reboot it to the system for the first boot it will take around a minute or two so just have patience after the boot you have to set up the welcome screen and you are good to go ignore this message by clicking okay so in this way we have successfully installed the pixel rom on our device if you have any issue while installing the pixel rom you can read the steps which is given in the description box or you can join our telegram group and ask any question related to that let me show you how fast the fingerprint scanner of, of this rom is as you can see even from the always on display it is open quickly and if you are on lock screen we will click here and it will unlock instantly it is as fast as realme ui one more thing the haptics of this rom is also amazing you can experience that by installing this rom if any guy with a chinese device want to test our rom you can test and report to our group if it is working for you people or not so once again thanks to our developer arno for creating a beautiful pixel rom for our device if you have any questions regarding this rom you can ask down in the comment below and i will answer it there thank you so much